Hello Info person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be discussing some of the new discoveries in regards to the unusual shape of our own galaxy, the Milky Way. Because even though most of the simulations and most of the simple images make it look maybe something like this, in reality it seems to be very different from this. Very, very different. With the new discovery from the study you can find in the description below, focusing on the shape of what's known as the stellar halo, and also discovering that it seems to be quite tilted, quite stretched, and sort of resembles an egg. Potentially broken in at least two different places, and also tilted to the rest of the galaxy. But why exactly does it look like this, and what exactly are we looking at here? Well, that's what I'm going to be explaining now. So first of all, when it comes to observing the shape of our galaxy, it is obviously really challenging. We're looking at everything from within the galaxy, and we're trying to understand what the shape of the entire galaxy is, by observing individual stars, and by then trying to combine all of this into a three-dimensional map. Now, thanks to the incredible Gaia telescope, the scientists have been slowly getting better and better at this, and we're actually able to map quite a lot of stars already, finding the exact distances to a lot of different objects in the Milky Way. But this is a pretty slow process, and it's also not a process that can be applied to all of the stars, especially at far away distances. And so in this case, the scientists behind the study had to combine some of these observations with a separate survey known as H3, hectoshell in a halo at high resolution. A survey that's also been collecting data on a lot of distant stars, including their chemical composition. And so over time, a lot of these surveys helped us understand that even though we think the galaxy might look something like this, or basically something like this, like a typical this galaxy we observe from a distance, the reality is a little bit more complicated. First of all, as we've discussed before, the galaxy seems to be warped quite dramatically, with the warp itself very likely being caused by a dramatic collision with another galaxy billions of years ago. The results of this collision are also visible in various streams that have already been discovered by various surveys. We refer to these as stellar streams, and they essentially represent ancient galaxies that basically fell apart as they slowly got absorbed by the Milky Way, leaving behind just a few stars and potentially some kind of a core. Here are some of the most recent ones discovered not so long ago. With a lot of these globular clusters that you see very likely representing some of these ancient cores, or leftovers from other galaxies that used to orbit and eventually got absorbed. But on top of this, as you can see, there's also a kind of a halo. There's an inner halo and an outer halo. And when it comes to galactic halos, generally there are three different concepts here. There is the mysterious dark matter halo that all of the galaxies seem to possess, and what the scientists use to explain the rotation of various galaxies. But that's of course the concept that's a little bit more controversial with some of the other scientists. Then we have the huge amounts of gas, or the gas halo, that's essentially mostly hydrogen, but also a lot of other gases, released from various supernova or a lot of other events, that essentially distributed the gas across the galaxy and even threw it outside of the galaxy. But then finally, we also get the stellar halo, or essentially a lot of ancient stars that for one reason or another got basically ejected from the galaxy and are now orbiting in very peculiar ways. So three separate concepts, all three called halo but generally all three studied in very different ways. But when it comes to visual observations of galaxies, it's really only the stellar halo that we usually see. I think the iconic image from the Sombrero galaxy kind of helps you visualize this a little bit better. So this whole glowing halo around the galaxy, all of this is formed by individual stars. We don't really get to see the gas, it's only visible in other frequencies, and we obviously don't really know much about dark matter or how to observe it either. And so when we do mention a shape of a galaxy, we usually just talk about the stellar halo. In this case, in the Sombrero galaxy, it does appear to be more or less symmetrical and distributed in a relatively equal way, with the galaxy itself also being relatively flat. But it seems to be that the Milky Way is not, and looks very different from this. With the very detailed observations from the study, using roughly around 5500 halo stars, at distances going all the way to about 200,000 light years away from the center, Revealing that the shape here is very unusual. First of all, it seems to be tilted, but it also seems to resemble a kind of an egg. And even here, the egg itself seems to be somewhat weirdly shaped, and has several breaks inside of it. And that's very different from what we always believed, or from what the scientists even expected. It essentially means that even this picture now has to be changed. Not only is the disk warped, but also Halo itself seems to be shifted, and potentially has a lot more layers and a lot more parts inside of it with the egg shape itself tilted by approximately 25 degrees. But interestingly, this is not the first time this was implied. Even five years ago, this particular study right here suggested that the halo was probably some kind of an ellipsoid. 
But I guess the question is, why? Well, the answer to this maybe comes from some of the previous observations of that tilt and a lot of these streams we've discussed previously. So unlike the sombrero right here, the reason we have the tilt and the warp and the reason there are so many streams is of course because of really massive collisions in the past. And the one that was probably most influential in the past, that happened a few billion years ago, is the collision that left the marks that you see right here. These are all individual stars from the galaxy we sometimes refer to as the Gaia Sausage. Or the most scientists refer to it as just the Sausage Galaxy. Also referred to as the Enceladus Galaxy or Gaia Enceladus. And this galaxy collided with the Milky Way a few billion years ago, with potentially this being its core that's still around and is still orbiting around the Milky Way. This is a cluster known as NGC 2808, with this simulation right here kind of showing us what might have happened a few billion years ago. So this particular galaxy, because of its mass and because of its relatively large amount of stars and a lot of other stuff, very likely resulted in the warp we're observing and the distribution of a lot of other matter around the Milky Way. In the end, creating something that you see right here, with the stars that came from this galaxy orbiting around the Milky Way at an angle of approximately 25 degrees and also in a similar direction and similar orientation to what we have right here. And so this of course suggests that this particular Gaia sausage collision very likely completely reshaped the Milky Way, making it look extremely different from everything else for billions and billions of years. And even though we technically expect a galaxy to maybe reform after all of this time and potentially resemble something a little bit more spherical, the fact that it doesn't just means that the sausage galaxy was extremely massive. Something we've discussed in the past and something you can learn more about in one of the videos in the description. And so in this case, it just means that these two galaxies collided at an angle, which then resulted in unusual shapes inside the Milky Way, which also then resulted in the misshaped halo, including very likely the gas halo and the mysterious dark matter. But because in this case we can only see the stars, at least for now, that's the only thing we can study and that's the only thing we can use to assess the overall shape. Although intriguingly enough, the fact that it's somewhat elliptical and not particularly spherical implies that when the galaxies collided, because of various interactions within the Milky Way, the stars seem to have formed two different orbits, or at least two orbits, and eventually got spread out across a much wider region. Although because these are all new discoveries, at the moment it's not really clear exactly how the stars were orbiting or what additional effects this had on our galaxy and various structures around it. But I'm sure with more observations from Gaia Telescope or additional observations from the H3 survey, as more and more data is collected, we'll definitely be getting a much more clear picture sometime in the future. But I guess at least for now, it's yet another discovery redefining our understanding of the Milky Way and the shape of the galaxy we live in. Definitely not a simple disk, definitely not flat, and way more complex than we ever imagined. But once we discover more, I'll make sure to follow this up with the next video. Until then, thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, and maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.